A timely return to London for a showcase of Hong Kong as a gateway to business expansion in Asia. After six annual stops in major cities around the world, the promotional event Think Asia, Think Hong Kong is back in the United Kingdom. Hong Kong's historical ties with the nation only growing stronger as British companies increasingly tap opportunities in Asia. Trade and investment has been the bedrock of our business relationship. With the UK being Hong Kong's second largest trading partner in Europe, and UK investment in Hong Kong taking up over a third of total British investment in Asia. Organized by the Hong Kong Trade Development Council with support from 16 Hong Kong partners and 60 UK organizations, the event showcased more than 40 speakers from governments and business communities. A key message, Hong Kong's continued role as an ideal gateway to the greater Chinese market. As Asia continues to drive the global economy's growth, we welcome British companies interested in exploring new business opportunities in the East to partner with Hong Kong in their search for success. The coming century is certain to see the establishment of a new economic order, yet it is one that Hong Kong is uniquely placed to take advantage of. I strongly believe, ladies and gentlemen, the UK and Hong Kong are only just beginning to realize the opportunities of our partnership. The main symposium explored how Hong Kong helps overseas companies tap opportunities in a region accounting for 60% of the world's economic growth. This event is meaningful in promoting Hong Kong's uh, unique roles of connecting world with Asia for quality products quality services, which China is increasingly demanding, has to be provided or connected with international suppliers, international producers. And while UK attention to China's Belt and Road Initiative has focused on a recently opened rail link from China, the London Symposium dug deeper into opportunities related to a range of business services sectors. Hong Kong absolutely being on the doorstep of mainland China. It's a platform for the world to engage with China and to take this uh, Belt and Road Initiative uh, out of China through Southeast Asia and the Maritime Route and up through Central Asia. Networking was central throughout the event with a series of business matching sessions as well as consultations by Hong Kong business services providers. The British people are starting to open their eyes to the fact that the opportunities in Hong Kong are sophisticated. The, you know, the wealth of, uh, in, of innovation, the wealth of ideas and money and people. And in the afternoon, four thematic seminars looked at how infrastructure financing expertise makes Hong Kong a Belt and Road gateway and an exploration of how to do business in Asia with a focus on Hong Kong's thriving startup scene. Western companies want to find a new market, particularly now the UK with Brexit uh, so close. It wants to do trade deals and, and why not in Asia? There's such a massive market untapped in many ways for Britain. Really, Britain getting out is a whole new era opening up for this country yet again. So yes, Far East is where I'm looking to uh, focus my practice. Other sessions looked at UK-China investment partnerships in technology and innovation, including the financial industry's push toward fintech. If you're looking to do business within Asia, I think Hong Kong would be an ideal place to target and base your operations out of. We've been working there for a number of years. I've been there 12 years, and I still think it, it holds a leadership position within Asia uh, for, for um, foreign companies to come in and enter the market. Complementing Think Asia, Think Hong Kong sessions here in London, business leaders and government officials from Hong Kong and the Chinese mainland took time to visit other places in the UK. Delegates networked in business matching meetings, as well as trade missions, focusing on Chinese outbound investment and information technology. Setting the tone for greater cooperation, representatives from Hong Kong and the UK Treasury signed an agreement to encourage development of fintech, Part of the reason to celebrate at a gala Hong Kong dinner on the eve of Think Asia, Think Hong Kong. To succeed in a fast-paced, ever-changing world, particularly as we transition out of the European Union, Britain must build ever stronger connections to the fast-growing economies of the East. The deep historical, economic and cultural ties between our people and societies mean the UK and Hong Kong 
our natural partners. Rounding out the evening, a rousing performance by the Metropolitan Youth Orchestra of Hong Kong, underscoring a long shared history and hopes for a harmonious partnership in the future.